What is going on everybody? You're back with me, Friendly Liamki, episode 33, and today we're going to be going through our Albanathi build for our settlement. So, the program behind Albanathi farm. I figure I the Minutemen have just uh, got out of Sanctuary and they're starting to get established, and now to avoid becoming a huge target from like the Institute and the BOS, uh, I figure that maybe, just maybe, they would need a secret uh, training facility. So this is what this is. It is a place where the uh, settlers would come here and they would become trained as Minutemen and then they'd be distributed amongst throughout the world, the map, and uh, they would defend settlements. So as you can see, we've got quite a large, uh, subtle <laughs> build happening here. Whereby we've got this large fort, so we're going to start off with the fort. The send you to help us? I will speak to the settlers soon. Makes me feel important when they talk to me. <laughs> so I've set up the farming outside of the fort. So it's where it was normally placed, but then I replaced all the clops. All the clops. <laughs> all of the crops uh, in Where's such a way that... Um, in such a way that it's 6-6 six, six, so that settlers know exactly where they need to be uh, farming. Day. And, uh, oh. Attack? How fun, you guys get to see the attack. So you guys can see how... We handle a... You can see the turrets firing over there. I did not script this at all. You can see from our... God tell what's happening exactly. Still in one piece. Yes. Well, that was pretty cool. That was a cool surprise. So, uh, with this farm, right, you have this main structure you cannot destroy. So I figure let's keep the uh, language going. So I wanted to have this almost juxtaposition of this large concrete structure and it's quite long you can see and it's not quite wide at all it's about three uh, she's naked yeah. there's about three blocks wide and as you guys can see as you enter there's a weapons depot so this is where they get armored where they put so war is not cheap <laughs> so here's some place where they could come they could buy weapons and you can see how this guy's got quite a stockpile of mines grenades ammunition, weapons, even power armor mods if you so wish. And you can see the death glow from Concord that we killed over there. It's hung up quite nicely. If we go around here, so there's no uh, power lighting in here because it needs to be low key, right? So if you move in through here, here's where the, the cadets, this is where all of this stuff is stored. And as we move up, you can see the uh, training arena over there. It's not a showcase arena, so it's where the challengers will train over there. As we move up through the structure, we've actually got a complete array of... Uh, okay, I don't know why the armor mods are not loading in, but this is where they would modify and create drugs. Even Nuka-Cola if they so wish. You can see some guys making some Nuka-Cola over there. And uh, so this is where they would do all their modifications to their weapons and armor as they so please. This is the defensive uh, layer, the garrison guard, if you will. I don't know where my robot settlers are. They're probably out there. And uh, so the idea is that it's at this elevated post, so it's almost like a fort. So it's meant to almost appear as if it's a fort, so no one will actually want to tangle with these guys. Now I wanted it to have this strong presence, as you guys can see. If we move on down here, move through the farm, you can actually see the living quarters for the permanent residents. So these guys, they live here, they support the farm. Here's our local hairdresser, she's quite cool. Her name's Darla. Uh, as we move through here, Easy access, as you can see, it's not meant to be a fuss, it's just a small settlement. Here's our artillery barrage, waiting ready for the Minuteman flare. Our tower, huge guard tower, absolutely huge, as you guys can see. Guard positions facing every direction, waiting. Turrets also loaded and ready to go. 
and I might actually attack the behemoths that run around over there just so we could see how the tower performs uh, inside hasn't changed at all I figure these are other people's farms so we don't want to be disrespectful and change anything up there so let's hop on over to the uh, non-permanent settlers and the settlers who in fact um, are training to be Minutemen, so the Minutemen Cadets. Let's have a look at them quickly. So as you can see we're here at our low-key uh, settlement uh, non-settlers. <laughs> our Minutemen Cadets area, it's almost like a bridge between the arena and the fort. Uh, so I figure that these guys, you know, they're not yet long, so they're just around town with their brand new tents and they've got ammo sitting around and they've got these non-permanent uh, fire pictures, pictures as well no lights like I said it's low-key that they're not here to be known uh, small guard towers here and there just as to uh, actually fight off anybody and like guard that side so you can see how they're quite well concealed by the shrubs and I know that there's no clipping uh, activated for these but in any real life situation this would be fairly difficult to cross through and quite loud as well you know so Deacon's a perfect example over there so there's this nice almost patch you know they're not expecting an attack so there's no need for other um, she's got flames out of her back there's no need for battle placements here because they're actually just training you know, they're not expecting an attack, but they are prepared for one if they need so. If need be of defending against one. So a little small courtyard area where they would, in fact, uh, be doing drills and all types of doodads and fire practice off against that mountain. As you guys can see, this is the uh, training arena I've been speaking so highly about. Um, it's it's very very small and secluded however inside there's quite an elevation you know, there's a good meter drop maybe even 1.5 drop that corner to that corner so each uh, training arena actually has its own uh, parameters that the people learn how to fight inside of so these people they would be incredibly w skilled in actually fighting in close combat with a elevation to it as well so I think that's that's literally the build it, it's that small it's not meant to be this huge megaton city ordeal you know it's just here built around that farm and it's now being repurposed for uh, the Minutemen cadets so let's go on ahead and get our settlers in line here. Let's do a nice uh, often. Well, let's do it now, actually. Now's a pretty good time of day. It's morning still. So let's have a little uh, NPC battle because I'm a man of my word. And you guys love seeing other people kill each other. So let's, let's let the gladiators begin. So we'll definitely have Minuteman cadets. And I think we'll bring in some railroad troopers this time the next time we'll go to the railroads uh, main dish yeah we'll go to the mail railroads uh, main arena in the next episode one moment let's just deal with those behemoths quickly okay so as you guys can see there's actually been um, almost like a fog that has rolled in I guess so it's not a problem wow that settler is so annoying okay and then we've also got who is that? Who's in my pen? Minuteman Warden, alright. Not a problem, not a problem. Yeah. One moment. Okay, so I couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> He's not in my control. So, okay, though, we're gonna spawn in our local Minuteman cadets. Blue team. There we go. Let's see if they're ready. And we're going to spawn in. They've actually got a settler down there too. It's okay. I'll try and block them out. Here we go. Here we go. Huh? 
Look at them. They definitely are using that height advantage. Look at that, how they're using the cover. Oh, we've got grenades being tossed. Ooh, pulse grenade. No, plasma grenades. Oh, wow. Let's see, they're trying to use the best of this healer for cover. It's just, it's so close combat. Oh, looks like we've got it. Someone has lost their foot. Yep, look at that. Oh god, he's lost his foot. Let's see how the rest of them are faring. Oh. Oh gosh. That pulse grenade really wiped them out. Oh gosh. Did you guys see that? Let's just move away. It's obviously dangerous. <laughs> Lone man. Here we go. One more. Oh, he dodged that one too beautifully, man. Oh, looks like he, he lost his life. Well, it looks like the Minutemen, cadets, have walked away without a single scratch, really. Oh, wait. No, no, this guy lost his arm. Goodness, that's terrible. Okay, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. The Minutemen cadets have obviously been victorious here. He lost his arm, and the only arm he's not protected by. Gosh, that's horrible. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh look, here's our residential doctor. He's assessing the situation. Look at that. Half of them are gooped. Oh gosh, that's disgusting. I think I, I just think I just threw up a little bit. Okay guys, I think you I hope you really enjoyed that video. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And uh, share this with your friends if you enjoyed it. Uh, so this is our Albanathy farm build. As you guys can see. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. Uh, most of all, I'm just so thankful that you guys have uh, clicked on the video and you're giving it a watch. So thank you definitely for that. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the build. Do you think it's realistic, unrealistic? What do you think of it? So yeah, guys, thanks again for tuning in and uh, friendly Liamki. Bye.